Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next set of problems that we need to simplify. Here notice that all three of them are fractions, at least the quantity underneath the radical, so we want to write it as the numerator and the denominator separately. So this can be written as the square root of 2 divided by the square root of x to the fourth. This will be written as the cube root of x divided by the cube root of 8, and this will be written as the cube root of a divided by the cube root of 27b cubed. Once, you've, once you have it in this format, now you look at the numerator and the denominator separately. Here you can see that the numerator cannot be simplified, so we leave it as the square root of 2, but the denominator, the square root of x to the fourth, is actually x squared because x squared times x squared equals x to the fourth. So we take the square root of that and we get the square root with this in mind. Over here, this can be written as a cube root of x because nothing changes, but in the denominator, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So you can say that the cube root of 8 equals 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. So the same concept helps here, so the cube root of 8 is simply 2. And over here, we can see that the numerator, again, cannot be changed. That's the cube root of a. But in the denominator, this can be written as the cube root of 27 times the cube root of b cubed. And then you can see that the cube root of 27 is 3 for the same reason, because 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. So I can say then that this can be written as the cube root of a divided by 3 times, and the cube root of b cubed is simply b. So this can be written as the cube root of a divided by simply 3b. And that's the final answer with a simplified form of that particular expression. And that is how it's done.